So my name is Charlie Casson. I'm the Davis County Judge Executive, and uh, I'm out at the, the Davis County Landfill. And uh, I believe Jay Leno called it the picturesque Davis County Landfill years ago uh, when somebody sent something in about the landfill. Travis, we're in front of the, I call it the perpetual flame. Do you mind telling, uh, telling people what we're seeing right here? Sure, if you, if you look behind us here, you see what uh, is commonly referred to as a candlestick flare. Uh, so what it does, in, in the well you can see these little black pipes sticking out everywhere. Uh, so underneath those pipes there's actually a 36 inch bore uh, down through the waste mass that's filled back with a stone pack and it's a perforated pipe. Um, you can hear a little buzz behind me, that's a, a, a pump and it's blowing air the entire time and it's sucking on all those wells. So about 350 CFM of gas is being uh, pulled from all these wells and burned off behind me right now. Um, we do that to destroy the greenhouse gases and to control odors uh, for the most part over there. And the project we're looking forward here is a, a private partnership um, with a company that will take this gas. Um, it's 50 to 60 percent methane. They'll scrub out all the other gases that are in landfill gas, uh, make it to a pipeline quality uh, natural gas type product. Um, they'll scrub any, any, uh, any off gases we get here. All that stuff will stay on site here and be destroyed. And then we're going to pipe that off site. And through that partnership, uh, they oversee our well field here, our tuning and our expansions. And we just see a large cost saving with this partnership from the, from the fiscal court side of it here at the Davis County Landfill. Travis, do, do, we, do we know yet the estimated time for this thing to be operational? Currently, we've, we've actually got uh, stakes in the ground, the construction, there, there'll be some clearing and grubbing that should happen in the next 60 days. Uh, after that, the pipeline is going in, um, and then within the next year or so, our, our plant should be fully functional uh, is the timetable we're currently looking at. Okay, and just so anybody might be watching this and that they're not familiar with this from reading any of the newspaper stories or anything that's been on TV, uh, the TV news, um, this is is this a county project or is this something we've contracted out? So everything offsite will be just contracted out. That, that's none of us. So the, the system we've got back here, that that's our system. That's that's the county's. Um, the only thing we're offering to the the private partnership is the use of our gas here. Uh, and from that point, really the point you see behind us here, they'll they'll take that connection point, they'll clean the gas, get it to pipeline quality, and then they'll handle everything else off the site here. Well, from my standpoint, as, a, as just as a fellow taxpayer to the people that I represent, and also to the, uh, the, the our entire community, this is a win-win because I, the way I see it, um, the federal government doesn't like what we have going on back here with just burning it. It's what I, again, what I call a perpetual flame. And so they give incentives to these companies to do what they're going to be doing here. And, and uh, I'm, I'm pleased about it. And I would think you are too. Yeah. So the waste, uh, you know, that comes to us after it's buried, there's really no other good, good use for it here, but, but, but what we're doing right now. So to find like another life for this waste and to make it a useful product, I think it is a win-win for everybody.